Good morning and welcome back to another week of Breakfast at Tracy's and so glad to be back here with you again today and we're starting a new series and I just want to take a moment to talk about this new series because there's a reason that I'm doing it and we are talking about God's attributes, what he's like, what the Bible writers had to say about God and the reason that I'm doing that is because I believe the more you know about God the more you're going to want to know him. And my desire and our desire at Breakfast at Tracy's is to help you want to know God, for you to want to spend more time with him. Because, you know, these five-minute devotionals, they're, they're really just to kind of spark your interest, get you going, because your main growth is going to happen from you actually praying, you looking at God's word. So that's what we want. I want you to know more about him so that you'll want to know him more. So we're going to be, over the next few weeks, we're going to be looking at some of the descriptors that the Bible writers use to talk about God. And today we're going to talk about his big word, omnipresence, which just means God is everywhere all at once. And this is what we find written in the book of Psalms. We find it says, I can never escape from your spirit. I can never get away from your presence. If I go up to heaven, you are there. If I go down to the grave, you are there. If I ride the wings of the morning, if I dwell in the farthest oceans, even there, your hand will guide me and your strength will support me. Now, I don't know about you, but I have times where I feel alone. I suspect you probably do too. I was thinking about, you know, when do I feel the most alone? Here's a few of them. I think I feel most alone in a doctor's office, in my office after I've been criticized. I feel most alone after I hear about another pastor talk about their great success and their church is just expanding and growing. And I feel most alone when I know that people have left my church. And these are just a few of the times that I feel alone. But I think if I was to rewrite this passage of scripture, it might go something like this. I can never escape from your spirit. I can never get away from your presence. If I get told I'm a terrible person, you are there. When I feel like a failure, you are beside me. When people turn and walk away from me, you never leave me. I don't know when you feel the most alone, but these are some of the times where I feel most alone, when I feel most vulnerable. And maybe right now you feel very alone, you know, being isolated because of COVID, whatever it may be, and you're feeling um, that God has kind of abandoned you, but God is always with you. It's one of his attributes. He is always with you. And God's presence has been a tower of strength for our brothers and sisters throughout the centuries who've lost their jobs, who are single parents, or they sit in solitary confinement in jail, or even on death row, and they know that they are never alone. And I want you to know, this is one of the great things about God, is he's always with you. And one day, we'll be able to enjoy God in, its, in his fullest form. This is our inheritance. He is our inheritance. His presence is what we all really need. And right now we just get a glimpse and he is everywhere. But one day we will be fully in his presence. So remember today that you are never alone and that God is with you. Let's, let's pray. Lord, help all the people who are watching this right now to remember that today, right now, you are with them. You will not abandon them. You will not walk away from them. You are there to guide us and to strengthen us. You are a constant presence to your people. And may that provide great comfort for everyone who's watching this today. We thank you, God, for being so good to us. We thank you and praise you that you are our omnipresent God. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Remember, today God is with you because he is omnipresent.